I recently had a viewer ask me, well, I've been going through the early game, then I started bizarre flipping and auction flipping, and I've collected some coins. So, what do I do now? Well, that's actually a question that I get more than I thought I would, considering a lot of this channel is talking about how you can make money and progress through the game, but I never really talk about that much further than making the coins. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering the best ways that you can spend those coins to progress further through the game. Because at a certain point, you have to make a choice, so let's talk about those choices. The way I see it, you have a few options. Right now, you are in early game, so you have to pick what you want to focus on next. So there's a few paths you can take. Those are dungeons, mining, and farming. So you have to pick one of these three. But which one are you going to pick? Let's talk about dungeons first. So if you pick dungeons, you've got a long road ahead of you. Dungeons is really expensive, but can be really fun and is what a lot of people pick. So basically in the dungeons route, you'll be mostly most of your money and time into dungeons gear. So dungeons gear costs a lot of coins, as shown by the storm armor I'm wearing, because it takes a lot of effort to get. You're also going to need to get all the requirements for this armor, which is also quite difficult, because getting catacombs levels takes a lot of time, and the more time consuming it is, the longer it's going to take. And especially with dungeons, it can feel like a very long time, because you're sort of doing the same thing over and over again. But you signed up for Skyblock, and this is really the least repetitive out of any of these options that we're going to talk about. So... If you're worried about getting bored, then Dungeons is definitely the best one, also because it gives you a lot of options to do things with your friends. So, I would recommend spending your coins on a mid-level dungeon set, especially if you've managed to rack up some stuff. Something like Shadow Assassin Armor and a Juju Shortbow is a good step for now. If you don't have quite that much money yet, you can go for some cheaper weapons. I've got a whole guide on basically every class you could want, so just pick a class and then look on my channel for the guide for that class. Next up, if you clicked mining, you've got a whole different story ahead of you because this also takes a lot of time, but can also make you a ton of coins. Mining is a bit of a pain. You spend a lot of time just mining blocks over and over again, but it is one of the most profitable money-making methods in High Pixel Skyblock right now, and it's got its whole own progression. You're first going to need to enter the Dwarven Mines, where you're going to get some armor, possibly a drill, and level up your mining level and your Heart of the Mountain tree. Then you will enter the Crystal Hollows, where you will start gemstone mining or lava fishing. You will need to be a relatively high mining level to do this effectively, have some good mining tools and good mining armor, all of which can get up into the hundreds and hundreds of millions of coins, similar to dungeon armor and dungeon weapons. These things are seriously expensive, so I would not take this path lightly. But it is technically possible, and it has its whole own way of playing the game. So if you're interested in doing basically exactly the same thing, mining blocks for a long time, and maybe you're more of a quiet, introverted person and you just want to like watch some shows while doing something therapeutic like mining, then possibly you could do this. It's a little bit less boring than the next one we're going to talk about, which is farming. Farming is potentially one of the most boring things on this list, and I'm not exaggerating. As you can see behind me, if you go for farming, you're going to have to invest a lot of time and money into building massive farms that stretch on as far as the eye can see. These farms will lag out your island a lot, because whenever I go on my island, my FPS drops by a ton, so unfortunately, I think it's all like the flowing water and stuff, but yeah, it does lag out your island, and it is not as good a money-making method as it used to be in comparison to things like mining. But it is definitely the simplest thing to do. If you want to just be able to make a ton of coins by sitting in a farm and maybe holding one or two buttons and not having to look at the screen at all and focus on a TV show or something else, then this is probably the one for you. If you really, really like repetitive tasks and getting things exactly perfected, then this is the right thing. Unfortunately, it's also really expensive. You need to get a lot of these fancy farming tools and normally you'll want the elephant pet, which is another super expensive thing. Building all of these farms is really time-consuming, and overall maxing out all of your farming gear can be super expensive. Not as expensive as either of the other two, so if you want to it more of a budget option, this is good, but it is still really expensive. And there technically is one other path that I haven't mentioned yet. There could be an alternative new path that we haven't seen yet, and this could be the Nether. Uh, and specifically, more combat-related stuff. Because we have not seen that much combat content that is meant for endgame, but I think the Nether might really be changing this. 
you could take a more Slayer approach to the game and instead go for Void Gloom Slayers and then the new Blaze Slayer in the Nether update. Now, if the Nether actually adds enough content, this could be really good and a viable path that I would recommend you take. The Nether update is seeming like it's going to be huge, even bigger than the Dwarven Mines, so it might actually be a huge update to the game that could provide tons of new content for you to try out. So if you're a new player, that actually might be a great way to make your path because it's going to be new. There's going to be a lot of new content coming out about it. So if you want to play alongside a lot of your favorite YouTubers, going with the Nether update is going to be the way to go. And specifically going with a whole combat related strategy. This will also have you investing a lot of coins into buying really expensive armor and weapons to be able to defeat these bosses. Each island will normally have its own armor and weapon, unfortunately, like for the end. You might need final destination armor, whereas for the nether, you might need an entirely new armor set that might not exist yet because the update isn't out yet. So this is all to be taken with a grain of salt as far as what items you should buy for which thing, but these are just some personal recommendations of how you can spend your coins. But if you're interested in spending money, what do you think would happen if Hypixel Skyblock added NFTs? Because personally, I don't think it would go so well, so watch this video on screen now to learn more. Subscribe, by the way, if you haven't. Goodbye.